I was getting a little bit sick and tired of not delivering anything. Oh, squirrel, squirrel! Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. As per usual, I forgot to film an introduction to this video. So I'm doing it now with my greasy hair all curled up on the sofa because I am suffering with my period pains. But I really do hope you enjoy this weekly vlog. It was such a fun one to film. A really nice mixture of fun and work and just a little bit of everything really. But I started off on a Monday as per usual and I was meant to tell you that I was waiting on an Asda order for the evening. I didn't film anything at work I had a very boring day but I did pick you up when the food delivery arrived so without any further ado let's just jump into it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and yeah let's just get started okay the food shop has just arrived so let's do a really quick run through shall we starting off in kind of like the fresh section we've got these yogurts they're always on offer like 10 or 8 for 4 pounds so we get those sometimes some milk this week we've gone for strawberries grapes and raspberries as our fruit i've got two lettuces cucumbers peppers all for my salads at work also lemon for my salads and some prawn pasta on the evenings We've got a pizza for the end of the week when we feel lazy, cherry tomatoes, onions, courgettes. Uh, can't remember what these are for now. Oh yeah, these are all to roast, to have like in a big sausage roast with sausages, roast potatoes, roasted veggies, some sweet corn because we're gonna have like sweet potato, sweet corn and chicken. We've got some chicken bites for my lunch box, some mashed potato for sausages and mash with the leftover sausages. Prawns are there obviously for my salad and for our pasta which we might have this evening actually. We've got some sweet potatoes too. Here is the little naughty section. Well not really little is it? We've got some Smarties. We've got some Aeros. They substituted my Kit Kat Chunkies for thin ones which I'm a bit sad about but never mind. Um, and then we also got these Cadbury mint chocolate fingers which if you haven't tried them you have to try them because they are divine. As usual, my Frost is cereal bars. I absolutely love these. And the squash that I like the best. This was on offer, two for three pounds, so I picked up two. And then last but not least, we have some Mr. Kipling Bakewell slices that I can take to work with me and some first class stamps because we need to post our Father's Day cards. And we don't have any stamps at the moment, so I thought I'd pick up a little book of those. So then it was time to put the shopping away. I do usually clean out the fridge each week when I do this, but I was just so tired I couldn't be bothered, not gonna lie. After doing that, I then sat down and filmed a YouTube video. This was my charity shop book haul. Check that out if you haven't already because it is already up on my channel. And then finally, it was dinner time. By this point, I couldn't be bothered to cook, so we just had the pizza and some cheesy garlic bread, which we polished off whilst watching The Crown. Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. Don't mind me just getting my shoes on for work as we speak. I'm about to leave in the next 10 minutes or so. I just need to grab my lanyard, my folders, my work laptop, all the usual bits and pieces. But I've got a fairly busy day today I feel, even though I've not really got that many solid plans. As I said before, it's my first week back after having a lot of annual leave, plus the bank holiday. So today I'm actually in a new timetable for the managing emotion skills groups that we do. So I've moved around a little bit. And so on Tuesday morning now, I'll have my observer slot for those where I just stay as like a little black screen on Zoom and watch the facilitators and how they deliver it and then learn from their own style. Um, and then in the afternoon, I'm not too sure exactly what I'm doing. I've not got any set plans, but I know that my email inbox is just going to be wild. Like it's going to be so full. I'm going to estimate 60 emails. I feel, I feel like that's a good, a good sort of round number to guess with. So I'll let you know what the end result is. So I assume in the afternoon, I'll just be going through those. Um, and yeah, I'll bring you along with me as much as I can. I don't feel like I'll be able to too much, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. And then after work, I've actually got quite a few things on my to-do list. I need to post my Father's Day cards and also write them during the day today. And it's also mine and Charlie's third year anniversary. So we're going out for a nice meal this evening. We're going to Pesto's in Hinkley. It's like an Italian tapas restaurant. We absolutely love it. So I'll be sure to bring you along there with us as well. Um, and I think that's about it. So yeah, quite, quite a packed day today. I feel like I might also wash my hair after work so I can look nice and fresh for our night out um but yeah i'll bring you along with me as much as i can as i said and i suppose i better get going Thank you. 
Well, hello again, everyone. Long time no speak. It's now Wednesday evening. It's like half five. I've literally just pulled up on the drive back from work. And I'm aware I haven't really updated you all over like the last two days. I was really bad at filming stuff yesterday. And then when I got home, we obviously went out to pesto straight after work, which was beautiful, by the way. I know I took a few clips so you would have seen the food. Today, I've gone back to work. I've gone to the other office today, which I don't usually go to because I'm now doing something called juice and today was my first day doing it because I was on annual leave last week and basically what duty is it's when people who are open to our team can phone in and speak to the duty worker between the hours of nine till five if they feel like they're in some sort of crisis or even if they've got any like questions about the service like say if they're having groups but they're not entirely sure where they're meant to be what's going on they can ring up with questions and so the duty worker basically speaks to all of those people and as a band four, my role at the moment is obviously very limited. Today, I've just been doing a lot of observation of that. I've been listening to all of the phone calls, looking what happens afterwards in terms of documentation. And to be completely honest, it was such a boring day. We only had like three phone calls and I didn't take any of my other work in with me because I just didn't expect to get the chance to be able to do it. So it was quite a lot of sitting around, to be honest. And for me, I prefer to just get stuck in with it. But in something like this I have to understand that like I can't get stuck in with it straight away because I need to learn the processes and things but I am a little bit impatient when it comes to stuff like that because I feel like I learn better by doing so hopefully it won't be too long before I get the chance to take some of the less serious calls myself. The plan for this evening is I'm about to head inside because I am absolutely sweating in this car it's so hot in the UK this week I think it's meant to hit like highs of 32 on Friday so not really looking forward to that can't lie but i'm about to go into the house i need to edit a youtube video i'm editing a charity shop book haul it was supposed to go up tonight but i've just not had the chance to edit it so i'm going to do that tonight and upload it ready for tomorrow we've got i believe either sausage mash and peas or like sausage and roasted vegetables for dinner this evening and that's as far as i've got planning wise um yeah that's about it really i'll bring you along with me i'll try and bring you along with me tomorrow and let you know what i'm getting up to then i'm not entirely sure but i should be able to film a little bit more because I kind of have a rough idea of what my plans are for tomorrow. So I actually decided to do my editing from bed as I just felt like being all cosy even though it was really warm. A little bit later on after dinner we watched Love Island. I'm really enjoying it this year and I'm loving these Coke Calippos whilst I'm watching it. They are delicious. Moving on to Thursday morning, I started off my day with a Muller Corner yogurt. I'm really enjoying these at the moment. I had it at work because I didn't have breakfast before I left. And then after I had that, I got logged onto the computer and all set up to take part in my managing emotion skills group in the learner slot. This week, because it's the first week back, we do a mindfulness week one all over again. So you do it both times round and you repeat the first two weeks. A little bit later on, it was time for lunch. I'm still obsessed with my prawn salads. It's going strong and I'm quite pleased with myself because of that. I then typed up the notes for the mess groups before jumping on to Zoom again to have another little practice of the step groups that I'll be delivering next week. I'll talk to you a bit more about that later in this video. But then I came home and it was time to start prepping dinner. We had a lovely sausage roast today with roasted vegetables, roasted potatoes, all that jazz. And then once again, watch Love Island and finished off our evening. Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. I didn't speak to you all yesterday just because I didn't film any clips whilst I was at work. So a lot of my day yesterday was spent preparing for Step which I actually start delivering on Monday. And I know I said in a previous vlog that this is an intervention that I'm gonna be delivering for the first time within the team and I was gonna fill you in more about it but I never did. So Step is basically a nine week course in which I'll be teaching patients skills that they can use to help manage their like distress stress and emotions a little bit better. So it's kind of like MES, like the managing emotion skills groups that I do, but just way less intent. And it's an intervention that's gonna be offered to patients who are on the waiting list for a care coordinator, which I personally think is a really good idea because otherwise, whilst these patients are on the waiting list, they're not getting really any help at all. They just kind of get a phone call to check in and make sure they're okay every now and then. But if we can actually offer them some skills work in the meantime, for some people that might be all they actually need and all they want from a care co um, and that might be enough to allow them to be discharged from the team and move on with their journey 
journey or it might just allow them to take the first steps into progressing with their mental health as well and so I'm quite excited to give this step business a go especially because I've been in my new job for like three months now and I'm yet to do any delivery which is kind of my job description as a group facilitator so I am raring to go and I feel like it's coming at the right time because I was getting a little bit sick and tired of not delivering anything I'm getting a bit impatient now um I also managed to pick up a new bit of tech yesterday so some work phones have been ordered for us so I now have this little iPhone which I definitely need to get a case and a screen protector for otherwise there's going to be some issues with that I also have a new laptop to pick up however I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday so I'm going to be doing that next week and then that was basically it for my work day. After work I didn't have any plans but myself and Charlie actually ended up going back to Pesto's where we went on Tuesday. I know that sounds really bad but we were just fancying it and I didn't have any table reservations so what we did instead was put loads of pillows in the back of the car, put the back seats down and got it as a takeaway and we just sat there, boot open, windows open watching the sunset eating Italian and it was just us you know I didn't really want to film any of that it was really nice just to have some time together after a long week at work although I do feel like this week has gone so quickly so that's what we did yesterday and last night and that's it all sort of summed up for you there I'm sorry I didn't speak to you all but as I said there just wasn't really much for me to film and then today it is about nine o'clock I believe I don't know I don't have the time anywhere near me but we are actually about to leave to go to our local farm Mark Kiln Farm where we always go to pick our fruit and vegetables and today we're actually going strawberry picking which is really exciting have a little bit of brunch in the farm shop afterwards because I've got a lovely cafe there and yeah I suppose I better go and get my shoes on and get going but I'll bring you all along with me. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? The best strawberries are near these yellow flags so we're kind of working up and down here but I think I'm gonna go underneath with this empty one which will take to Charlie's dad um I'm not sure if I meant to ah! oh my god there's some lovely ones over here I've always wanted to have one of these orange juices but never had and since we've come last time I've also got a milkshake bar here where you choose like strawberry, chocolate, caramel, vanilla, banana, the little bottle off the bottom and then you add milk to it. I don't know if to get one of these or not, I really can't make my mind up. Okay, so we've just finished off at Malt Kiln Farm. We always have the best time there, it was so much fun. Our strawberries came to £4, so basically, I don't think I explained this earlier, but to book it, you pay £2.50 per adult, so I paid £5 for the two of us, and then that price gets deducted off the price of your strawberries. So on top of that £5, we had to pay an extra four, which meant for our two like big crates, we paid £9 altogether breakfast was lovely as well and we did pick up some goodies from the farm shop which i will show you later don't mind me if i'm a little bit sniffly i feel like this year i've been suffering from a mild hay fever like my eyes are watering and i'm sneezing so much when i'm just outside for any period of time at the moment i think the pollen levels are really high as well so that obviously doesn't help it's just a bit weird because i've never ever suffered with hay fever before so if you do then i feel you um we're now on a slight detour not gonna lie i thought we'd be going home after we went strawberry picking but very very randomly we are now off oh squirrel squirrel 
<laughs> I'm worried about turning over a squirrel. Uh, but as I was saying, very randomly, we're actually off to the Audi show home in Coventry, is in the cars, because a certain somebody next to me um, actually wants to have a look at them and is potentially interested in buying one at some point soon. So is it the Q3? Yeah. yeah, so the Q3 is what Charlie is interested in. So we've rang and we don't need an appointment to just have a look at them, but we would need an appointment to like go through the process of buying it. So we're gonna go and have a look at them today and see if it's actually what she wants or not. And yeah, it's just very exciting. So I wasn't expecting to film this as part of the weekly vlog, but I suppose I will because why not? I'll show you what the Audi Q3 is like if anyone's interested. We've got about 20 minutes until we get there. So I'll just catch up with you when we get there. Okay, it's pouring with rain. We're getting soaking wet. But we've just got the Audi unlocked and Charlie's having a look. I think she'd want it in white, not black, but it's just to get an idea of the size. This is one of the newer models, whereas this red one down like here, this one, is one of the older ones. So we're interested in looking at both, but just going to see what she likes the most. I appreciate it's quite hard to see, but the seats are really, really nice in this newer model. And this is what it's looking like from the front. I think this one's like 30 grand, so I don't even want to think about that, but it is nice and it smells lovely too, so that's always a bonus. One who likes like bright coloured cars, this is beautiful. This one's 20 grand, it's petrol and electric. Uh, you can literally cannot see anything apart from me in there. It's not open yet, so we're not quite looking at it, but this was the older model, heated seats, everything. Oh my God, it's so nice. I feel like I want one now too. <laughs> She's now found a white Q3, which is also really nice. They actually think that I prefer the white and the red over the original first one, which was black. So it's been a hot minute since I last spoke to you all. I think it's about nine o'clock, something like that right now. Um, and I thought I would fill you in on the rest of the day. So strawberry picking, as I already said, was amazing. And I do have my little farm shop haul to show you all. It's nothing massive. On top of the strawberries, we also got some raspberries, but they're in the fridge. You don't really need to see those. You know what they look like. But it's actually my nanny's birthday soon at the start of July. And so I actually picked up a few bits in there for her because I had some such cute stuff. Charlie noticed these little jams and curds. You could get them in this little bag and they were three for six pounds. And I thought that would be a really cute present for her. Her and my granddad have like a caravan that they go away in sometimes. So these are perfect sizes for them to take with them. So we've got them. A sweet apple chutney, which looks like this. It's from the brand Cottage Delight, if anyone's interested. We also got them a passion fruit and mango all butter curd. I didn't want to get just like strawberry jam, raspberry jam, you know, all the stuff that you can kind of get in Asda. I wanted to switch it up a little bit and get them some things that they might not have ever tried or things that are harder to get. And then we did get them a lemon curd, so that kind of goes against what I said, but it's, I don't know, it's matches the summer theme doesn't it and then the only other thing i picked up for her was these little soaps in a gift set i feel like that's looking a bit wonky but they smell so so nice again they're really good for her to just put in the caravan and take with them so i picked up those two i'm only showing you because there's literally no chance of my nan watching this video so i'm not worried about that but yeah that was my little farm shop haul nothing too extensive but i thought that was quite sweet and then afterwards, we obviously went to the Audi showroom. Charlie has officially fallen in love, which I'm not surprised at at all because she was quite set on them and it kind of just confirmed everything that she already knew. Um, so we're kind of looking at options for her now for that. Um, I will just say that I don't feel like we ever get the best reception when we go to places like that, whether that's just because we're young or I don't know. But basically when we walked through the door, we kind of just got a look as if to say, what are you two doing here? Um, I feel like they never take you seriously, which is a little bit frustrating because then when you mention like your like payments or your like finances or anything like that and they find out that you can actually be there because you've got the money to be there, otherwise why would you be there in the first place? 
all of a sudden they're your best friend and they're trying to find everything for you and offer you a drink and you know any refreshments and that's kind of what it was like today which is just really frustrating isn't it and it does completely put you off buying in those places i'm not sure if anyone can relate to that but i'm sure most people have had similar experiences um but since then we've just come home chilled out really we finished watching the crown which is really upsetting but also really exciting because season five comes out this year and we're all up to date ready to watch that and we absolutely love the crown if you have netflix and you haven't watched it then i highly recommend you doing so and we've also caught up on love island because this week we missed out on watching it on tuesday so we were one episode behind so we've caught up on that tonight ready to watch in time with everybody else tomorrow which is good and Joe's just been chilling out really, doing some washing, doing some chores. I did originally intend to film tomorrow as well as part of this weekly vlog, but we're actually heading off to Wales to see Charlie's dad because it's Father's Day tomorrow. And I feel like it would just be nicer just to spend time with the three of us rather than me worrying about whipping out the camera and filming clips here and there. So yeah, not much planned, but also quite a nice day, like family day out. So I'm gonna keep that to ourselves and suppose I should bring this video to a close here because I have waffled for long enough. I do hope you've enjoyed seeing this weekly vlog. I feel like it's been a really nice balance of like work and home and fun and nice things. I actually have had a really lovely week and I'm definitely looking forward to next week. I've got some really exciting things planned, new hobbies, exciting things in the works. So make sure you do stick around by subscribing down below so you can see the next weekly vlog. And yeah, other than that, just thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below, as I said. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.